gestational hypertension. High blood pressure in pregnant women can be dangerous for both the mother and the fetus. Women with pre-existing or chronic high blood pressure are more likely to have certain complications during pregnancy than those with normal blood pressure. However, some women develop high blood pressure while they are pregnant, which is called gestational hypertension. Now, hypertension and pregnancy, it is, uh, are they associated or not? Yes, it is true. People do get hypertension during pregnancy, which is normally called as gestational hypertension. Normally, patients present with the preeclampsia or eclampsia. See, preeclampsia is a condition where pregnancy is detected around 20 weeks of pregnancy, that is second trimester of pregnancy. Normally, patient presents with about 140, 90 or 160, 90 hypertension, that is the systolic and diastolic. At this time, normally when patient comes for a regular follow-up, we see that they are put on treatment, that is basically salt restriction, exercise, regular walk, sometimes pranayama. With this under diet control, the BP can be come down. Or else, normally we put on certain antihypertensive drugs so that the BP will come down. Normally what happens is these patients, if pre-eclampsia is not controlled, they end up with eclampsia. That is, eclampsia is patient comes with fits. Normally at that particular time, saving the baby or the mother is more important, where the decision will be taken more to save the mother than the baby. This can also be detected earlier through Doppler scans, where the fetal uterine and maternal blood flow can be detected, where there is going to be reversal of flow into the fetus from the mother. So what exactly happens in BP is the flow into the kidneys or through the maternal and fetal barrier is reduced. As a result, the baby is small in size, and like if it is 30 weeks of gestation, it will be around 26 weeks or if it is 34 weeks, the baby will be small. That is, a baby should be about 2.4 kgs, would be around 1800 grams or else baby would die inside because of hypertension. This is uh, normally, if it's not controlled in uh, 28 weeks, it will always end up with eclampsia where a decision has to be taken to terminate the pregnancy. Uh, diet restriction is a very important thing and routine follow-up by the mother at any antenatal checkup or a healthcare center will uh, normally stabilize this uh, hypertension which usually comes.